Okay, I'm going to walk through how to download Theriac Domino for a Mac. Um, first, I'll have links in the attached document, and the first link to open up is this Theriac Domino download page. We need to download three separate things to get this to run, and so I'm going to go down to the directions here. The first thing it says for you to do is to install Xcode from the Apple Store. Instead of doing Xcode from the Apple Store, we can actually download it using a command line. So what you need to do is open up your command line. So how you can do that is by going into your applications. So I have this screen up. I get this screen by using my trackpad and if you take all of your fingers and sort of pinch the screen as if you're picking something up, this will open. Um, there's also keys on the top of your MacBook Pro pay, uh, um, computer that will bring the screen up. So over here in Other, you're going to see the terminal. That's what you want to open up. Okay, I'm going to send this link too. So this is the second link that you should open, and it's to install Xtools using a command line. So you can copy this this code here. Oops, actually, and if we go back to our command line, and you paste it, and you click enter. Okay, so mine is already installed, so I don't know how it runs through, but my suggestion is to run it through. According to the website, it's going to pop up with something like this that says, are you sure you want to install it? You say install. It's going to download the software, and when it goes away on, your own, on its own, that's when everything's been installed. So you have a problem with that give me a note and I can see what we can do, but that should be enough to get it to run. Okay, now's a good time to pause the computer to get the, that running and then we're going to go into phase two now. Phase two says to download the appropriate G4Tran installer. So if we go ahead and follow this link, you can see that their options are for Windows and for Mac. So we can open up this link here. And you're going to see that there's the Fortran's for the different operating system. So find the appropriate operating system for your computer and download it. For me it would be Sierra is what I'm running right now. This would be the Fortran that I would install so you can take a minute now and follow the directions to install that. Alright, so now that those two things are installed on your computer you're ready to start downloading the actual Theriac Domino software. This is the third thing that we're going to deal with here. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you see download for Mac OS. We have this zip file named programs and another zip file for working. You're going to want to download these two files and unzip the directory. I've already gone ahead and done that, and so when you do those two things, you get one um, file that has programs and the other that has working. So these are the two screens that should be up on your screen right now. I'll give a second for you guys to do it. Okay, what's important in this part is that you take these two files, so right now they're in my downloads folder, and what you're going to want to do is open up another finder window. So you can go down here to new finder window. 
you want to click on devices and you want to go to your MacBook and then whoops, find your home screen. So this is users and then Caitlin Suarez, so the little home symbol, you want to find your name and go ahead and open that. So at the moment I actually have hidden files being shown right now, but I can unhide those just for a second here. They'll be important in a, in a minute. So create a, a new folder in your home directory and label it Theriac Domino Mac. Okay, you guys make it in your computer. I cannot make a second folder, but here's my Theriac Domino Mac. After that, if you open it up, you'll see I have the two program, two files, programs and working in here. So you can go ahead into your downloads file, take your programs and your working and insert into the new folder that you've just made. Okay. The next thing you have to do is open up the workings folder. You're going to see something called the bash profile. So let's get the, rid of this. This is something that has to get copied. So you can copy your bash profile and paste it in your workings in your home folder. So go back to your name and then paste it in here. So usually I just control V, command V to get things to uh, paste where I want it to. So this is that bash profile. The next thing you need to do is open it. So if you right click and say open with. Now you can open it with text edit. That will definitely work. I use something called text wrangler sometimes, but either way, um, it doesn't matter. Just just a text application to open up the the profile. So this is the part that's important. And if you have problems with Theriac Domino, it's probably going to come back to this part here we have two lines that need to be fixed. So I'm going to bring up, um, this is in Text Wrangler, but I'm going to bring up what I, how I changed mine so that you can see what you need to do. So, okay, so here in the fourth line, you have alias, uh, there equals CD, Theriac Domino Mac slash working. So this line needs to be edited, have an edit to it. So the way that you're going to do it is, you can see here on my line four, you're going to have backslash users backslash your name as it looks in your home profile and then backslash Theriac Domino Mac, which is that folder that I told you to create and it has to be exactly the, the same lowercase and uppercase. So if you put Theriac Domino with the D being uppercase, make sure that's also in this line here, and then backslash programs. So that's the first line that you're going to edit up here in your bash profile. The second line that you have to edit is line 13. So here it says export um, theradom is equal to users. And then it says copy on yours, but you have to change it to your name again, the same home profile. And then the Theriac Domino Mac and programs. Just the way I have, I have it here is how you need to save it as well. Okay, the next part after changing that is to save this bash profile that you just made here by putting a period in front of the name. So if I put this period here, what it's actually doing is hiding the file. And so go ahead and do that and save it. 
and it's going to say, are you sure that you want to do this? And you have to say, yes, do that. I'm going to cancel just to show you because I've already had it saved. But if you click on command shift period, command shift period, it opens up all of these hidden files that have the period in front of it. So you'll see here, this is the bash profile that I have installed on my computer. And that was what I was just reading off to you. And you can see this is the one I had just copied in for the demonstration. So go ahead and save it with a period in front after you've made the edits. And if you ever need to find it again, because it will disappear, um, like I said, it's command shift period and you can find that file once again. All right. At this stage, you will have all of the pieces down, laid down for you to run there at Domino. Uh, everything should be, you know, in your home profile with the with the folder Theriac Domino Mac with your two programs and workings files. And we're going to go ahead in the next video, and I'll show you how you can run your aluminum silicate triple point, and this is how you can check that Theriac Domino is in fact working.